All right, hello guys. This is Cobweb Nine or Two here with another video tutorial for you guys, and well, this one's gonna be on montage effects. So I hope you guys like this one. Um, sorry guys, I've been a little bit busy lately. I've been making a slideshow for my sister for Valentine's Day and working on a youth group slideshow. So haven't been able to put out another any more tutorials recently. So sorry about that. Um, but now I'm making one. So. But I was thinking, you know, Valentine's Day is kind of uh, coming up here soon. And I was looking up some Valentine's quotes by famous people. And, uh, well, I was I was kind of noticing the theme of the quotes is falling in love and just all that stuff. And I was like, I was thinking, why do why do people fall in love, you know? Doesn't, doesn't that sound painful? Like, why don't we, like, gently lay down in love, you know? Or gently sit or something, you know? But falling just sounds painful and yeah well, well back to the tutorial um so today we're going to be working on montage effects and i just want to preface the tutorial by saying montage effects are great editing in sunny vegas is great but if you're going to make a really good and uh, awesome montage you have to have really good footage and awesome footage so that means different camera angles and uh just a whole bunch of other stuff so you can't make a really sweet montage by just having one clip and editing that with a bunch of millions of effects with Sony Vegas because that just come that just makes it an over edited montage is what we call them so uh, yeah well let's get started and I'll show you some effects that you can use though so go ahead and import footage um, now the first one we're going to show is kind of a motion blur effect so go ahead and hit or you got to click on the timeline and hit Control Shift B on your keyboard that comes up with a master video track at the bottom you can see it says video if you right click on the track hit insert remove envelope I don't know if you guys are familiar with envelopes but this is what we're going to be using today I'm going to show you a little bit about them go ahead and hit motion blur amount alright now you won't see much difference but down here at the bottom it has a purple line pink purple whatever you call that controversial issue whatever and uh, now if you double click on that purple line it'll come up with another dot now you drag that up a little bit and you got a little motion blur now I'm not gonna play the video up in the preview because it's horribly laggy and you guys won't even understand what is going on up there and then uh, but anyways if you double click it drags up and slowly fades into a blur effect now if you come over here later on in the timeline say I want it to stop blurring here double click again and then make another point right after that and then go ahead and drag that back down so now if we were to play through this then it would kind of slowly start blurring. It'd be blurring for about uh, seven seconds, and then it'd kind of go back down and stop blurring, and then it'd be just normal again. So that's the uh, first effect. I'm going to get rid of all that. All right now, the second one is kind of the same deal. Go ahead and insert remove envelope, then uh, do fade to color. All right. Now, this one's a good one for making a flash in your, uh, in your video or whatever. It's kind of the same deal, so go ahead and double click. Now, if you drag up, you'll notice it gets way brighter. I like to drag mine all the way up if I were to do it. Now go like a split second over, double click, and then make another point so you can uh, where where to end it, and then drag down. Now, if we were to play through that, it'd start, and then it would flash real fast, and then it go flash back down to normal color. So uh, those are two pretty simple effects um, that I I would say are pretty effective in montages. And uh, that kind of bypasses having to like do the transition with the flash effect and everything, which I used to do, but not anymore. So now the third effect, I am going to ungroup my audio from this just to make it simpler. Uh, delete this track. All right. So for this one, we're going to right click on our clip, going to hit insert, remove envelope again, and then velocity. All right, now what this does it, it, is it uh, makes your clip faster, slower, or whatever, in between, or whatever you want. So same deal, just, wow, this is getting really boring, isn't it? Same deal. You double click on it, make a dot, drag it up to make it faster, or down to make it slower. And then if you move over, and then click here, and drag up to 100%. So that will slow it down and then gradually speed it back up to normal speed. Now you will notice that because we slowed it down here, that the clip is now longer. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come to the end of your clip, drag out until you see it starting to repeat right there, 
and then clip it right there. So then now you have your full clip back again. Um, if you have any other questions about that, that's kind of it. Kind of can get confusing. Just go ahead and message me if you have any problems. So uh, yeah. Now with uh, actual montage effects in Sony Vegas, I'm just kind of gonna go over these real quick. Um, noise we don't use. Um, let me find the good ones. Um, color corrector. This is a good one for uh, making your clips look cooler. Uh, you can use color corrector secondary or primary, it doesn't matter. Or even color balance, it really doesn't matter. They all do about the same thing. So if you uh, add one of these, you'll notice um, maybe your clip turned, like mine turned a little bit red. You can play around with the sliders a little bit to make your clip look better and you can keyframe it however you want. And guys, I'm not going to go into detail on any of these effects in this tutorial. So uh, if you want details, you can message me or whatever. But um, yeah. Now another one that I kind of like is Gaussian, Brittle <laughs> Gaussian Blur. This is just a kind of slight effect if you want to blur right before you kill somebody in a montage or something. Or you want to blur because it's in slow motion or whatever you want to do. You got your horizontal range, which is uh, left to right. Then you got your vertical range, which is top to bottom. You can kind of do cool things with that even by blurring it to the side. Kind of gives it a different effect than blurring it from the top and bottom. So yeah, there's another effect. Um, hmm. Light rays. These ones kind of look cool if you can use them effectively. They're kind of hard to use effectively sometimes. This is kind of look like a a daydreamy looking thing. And I would increase the brightness on this just to kind of make it look uh, cool and kind of put it in slow motion. You kind of you can kind of see that um, with that. Um, well I used Starburst is a cool one. It comes in Sony Vegas Pro 9. I don't think it's in any of the earlier versions of this, but it's a pretty cool one. Um, you might have seen Montage Starburst in my intro tutorial, so. You can add that. This one makes it extremely laggy, so I would add this after you're done with about everything. And uh, you can change the uh, brilliance, threshold, strength. I don't know what all that means. Really don't care. I just kind of experiment with it. Um, if I really got down and focused on it, I could probably figure out what it means, but I really don't care. So, anyways, that's that. Um, that's pretty much the gist of most of those effects. Um, Guys, you just got to be creative. I can't I can sit here and tell you how to do effects and stuff, but after a while, if my montage if any tutorial out there, you'll see a lot of tutorials out there that are really popular tutorials, but everybody does that tutorial, everybody does the exact same thing, and after a while it just gets really boring and everybody's using the same intro or whatever in their videos. So I can tell you everything you can do to make this tutorial or to make this effect but it's not going to look good unless you use your imagination and you come up with your own effect. So, yeah, there's some little words of wisdom right there, um, in case you care, because I'm a wise person. Okay, maybe not, but anyways. So I guess that's about the extent of the tutorial. Um, if you guys uh, want to comment on future tutorials, I'm kind of short on ideas right now. I was thinking about doing one on rendering, how, how you render a montage, or how you render a video, good settings for that, to post it on YouTube. You can go over that, maybe. Um, I think I was had a message from somebody saying that I should do one on how to put credits at the end of your video, so maybe I'll do that. Uh, if you guys have any other ideas, be sure to post them in the comments or message me or something so uh, I know what to do. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe like everybody else says. So I will talk to you later. Peace out.